can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. Cedar Hill Road in Claxton Bay is one of the most heavily trafficked routes within the Coover Tabaki Talpara region. It not only services the needs of residents within the area, but also that of many enterprises that support this country's local construction and energy sectors. It is also a popular alternative access route for motorists who travel along the northbound lane of the Solomon Ho Choi Highway. The commissioning of the Cedar Hill Road B1 and 3 Bulbul Bridge therefore has brought a great sense of relief to users of Cedar Hill Road. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. As the Member of Parliament for Point of Pier, I set out on identifying the major issues that have afflicted us for as long as we might remember. And everybody was pointing out that which they considered to be important to them. I had the responsibility to assimilate all that was put to me and determine what was going to be most important on a scale of things, most important to the local community and by extension the national community of Trinidad and Tobago. And when I observed the extent to which we were losing valuable man hours, morning time, change of shift at 3 o'clock in the day, evening time, people coming to access the Point Lisas Industrial Estate, people from the western side trying to get onto the highway to head into Port of Spain or to Lower South. And all we had here was a one-lane traffic that we could have accommodated. 40 years ago, this bridge got so congested that they couldn't cross. And they needed a bridge long before 40 years could be widened. Now the road is wide enough, and I, I stood up there and personally saw two big trucks from Julian Sami crossing and passing the bridge each other. So we don't have a problem with that, this bridge at this stage. They have widened the road, they widen the bridge and we are happy for that. It is very, very good. The bridge is part of a schedule of 21 bridges in total that have been completed this fiscal year by the Ministry of Works and Infrastructure's Bridges, Landslips and Traffic Management Program. It is also considered to have been a unique project as described by BLT's Program Manager, Mr. Latif Mohammed. There was significant degree of deterioration and fatigue under its service life and it really needed to be replaced. Works commenced on the new bridge in January 2014 and was officially open to traffic in May 2015. This new structure will significantly reduce traffic congestion and provide an improved access for all commuters. The new structure consists of a Double cell box culvert, 15.7 meters by 18.39 by 3.9 meters deep. Right? It's much larger than the old structure, has a larger capacity in terms of traffic and waterway than the old structure. As you would see, you have two lanes on the, tra on the deck now, each 3.65 meters wide with sidewalks on both sides. Okay? The design life for this bridge according to the Ashto Code, is 100 years. I hope some of us could live to see that. In his feature address, Minister of Works and Infrastructure, the Honorable Dr. Saruj Ratan Rambachan commended the diligence of the contractor and also thanked the residents and surrounding businesses for their cooperation and patience during the construction period. Let me uh, begin by congratulating Mr. Pari Lachmissing, his family, and his employees, who I would tell you came under extreme surveillance, pressure, and scrutiny during the construction of this particular project. I came here at 10 o'clock, the night when the bridge collapsed, and I needed to be here in order to understand and take the action that was required so that within a, a very short space of time, something could have happened. 
Let me say, therefore, that Lakshmi Singh worked under very difficult conditions, including a severe flood towards the end of last year, and the need to deal with water from what he has told me was about 15 to 17 springs. And Mahadeo tells me there were about three major ones in the river itself where the bridge was being built. But he overcame all of that, and today we have a bridge. Now, during the uh, construction of this bridge, there was a measure of inconvenience suffered by the commuting public. And I wish this morning to publicly thank everyone for their patience and understanding during the period of construction. But I would like to publicly thank Mr. Ashmeed Mohammed and his wife Camille and their employees. And I don't have words to describe what you have done by the way you have co cooperated with us. But let me just say that we have inconvenienced inconvenience you, your staff, your customers, and not one day did you complain. You have displayed a level of corporate social responsibility um, in terms of your business uh, side that is rare in this country. And apart from that, your company is known for its community civic mindedness. And this is an example of your community civic mindedness. The B1 and 3 Cedar Hill Road was commissioned on Sunday, June 14th, 2015.